Hi everybody, this is Sean Heidemann, Designated Broker with Position Realty. Today we are recording our Phoenix Real Estate Market Report uh, for the month of July 2020. So let's get started. The number of new listings increased this month 15.1% in July from 9,063 listings in June to 10,433 listings in July. Last year, we experienced less listings coming on the market in July 2019 at 8,812 new listings. This is an improvement to our market since the number of active listings is the lowest we have seen since the real estate boom began in 20, uh, 2003 and ended in 2008. The number of active listings decreased negative 14.3% in July from 12,784 listings in May to 10,094 listings in July. Historically, 10,952 listings is the lowest the Phoenix real estate market has ever experienced where our previous low, low our previous lowest low was last month. The number of active listings and the new listings may increase after October 2020 as the foreclosure moratorium is lifted, but in the meantime, low mortgage rates will entice buyers to absorb the available inventory. Currently, the number of active foreclosures is 83 listings or 0.8% of the total active listings on the market, and last month we had an increase of 18 new listings coming on the market. Also interesting here, if we look at the chart, see the active listings and the number of sold transactions and number of new listings is pretty much converged right here at 10,000. That's, uh, that's kind of interesting. The number of sold transactions increased 8.5% in July from 9,718 transactions in June to 10,545 transactions in July. A downward trend started before the coronavirus in May 2019 at 10,533 transactions, but now that the stay-at-home orders were lifted in June, we could expect to see the number of sold transactions increase as long as our inventory of homes are replenished each month. This increase in demand will continue to absorb the number of active listings on the market. The average days on market started a downward trend also since February 2019 at 72 days on market, and it started a new downward trend since February 2020 at 64 days on market. In June 2020, we experienced the first month where the average days on market increased to 55 days on, on market, and in Ju July it decreased to 54 days on market, but it is still down 25% since February 2019. This increase in the average days on market could be contributed to the amount of active homes on the market. The Phoenix housing market ended 2019 exceeding the national average with an overall annual appreciation rate of approximately 10.4%. The average sold price increased in July 2020 to 394424 which surpassed the previous peak at 378845 in March 2020. Since January 2020, our market is currently up 7.9%. The sale to original list price increased approximately to 98.4% or an accepted price of 1.6% below the original asking price. The average sale to current list price decreased to approximately 90, 90 actually no, it increased. It increased to approximately 99.2% or an accepted price of 0.8% below the current asking price. This has definitely contributed to the um, low inventory of homes and buyers are competing against each other and willing to pay a higher price.
Since May 2019, the month's inventory has hovered around 1.9 months on market, where it has fluctuated slightly with the lowest at 1.7 months and the highest at 2.29 months. In July 2020, the month's inventory decreased substantially to 1.04 months from 1.3 months in June, or a decrease of 21.2%. From the lowest low of 1.75, an inventory of 1.4 months is 0.71 months, or a decrease of 40.6% below the previous low. Overall, the Phoenix real estate market is volatile due to the governor's stay-at-home orders, decrease in mortgage interest rates, high unemployment, continued uncertainty around the coronavirus as a whole. Now that the stay-at-home orders have been lifted, we are seeing the number of sold transactions is exceed the number of new listings. The number of active listings is making historical new lows. The average days on market are decreasing and the average sold price increase in months of inventory has broken below the previous lowest low of the range. These dramatic changes can be contributed to more and more buyers entering the market to purchase to take advantage of the historically low interest rates and sellers waiting to put their homes on the market. All of these changes are positive signs for sellers, but unfortunately for buyers the market, we will continue to be in a seller's market due to the low inventory of homes. Please feel free to call me if you have any questions or concerns if you should buy or sell this year. Thank you for watching our report and uh, please stay tuned for the next month's report.